Welcome back. Sorry, we're talking about moons and telescopes. It's been a busy week for those who enjoy space, and we're obviously fascinated because Absolutely. Paul has so much knowledge. We've talked about the super moon yep. and those amazing pictures from NASA. So Paul's here with us to talk a little bit more uh, about that. We were giving the Hubble Space Telescope a, a hard time. Yeah, but well, this was, that's <laughs> okay. It's understandable. <laughs> but it's a, a huge deal. You were just saying they're, they're two very different beasts. The they Hubble are. And this new but telescope. if you if you take a historical perspective on this, which I do every time something like this happens, if you start with Galileo, that was the biggest deal on Earth mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. The first telescope, first time anybody pointed something at the sky and went, oh, "What's that?" Well, and then all those years from 1609 to 1990 went by, and boom, there's Hubble. That's the next gigantic leap mm -hmm. for astronomy. This is the same thing, only it's bigger. It's not just bigger in size. It's 10 times more powerful than Hubble. It's looking at different wow. wavelengths, so it's going to complement Hubble. And we look at Hubble images, and you say, oh, those aren't as good as these. Well, they are because we're going to put them all together to make more of a global view okay. of what we see. Because this is infrared, and if, if you'll yeah, stick your hand in here. Yeah, we got some props here, I'm excited for this. We're doing a demonstration here. the picture to process here. Okay. You're like the magician, yeah. and Beth and then, is your uh, yeah, assistant. Yeah, she's there. my, around. thank you, Nani <laughs> Darnell. <laughs> like this? <laughs> there you that go, tight? hey, that's good, okay. that's excellent. So he's taking a picture of okay. my arm. Now let me get it to go back into the right mode. To demonstrate All right, the new technology with there's the, your lovely face and the web comes. telescope. <laughs> the picture okay now you can sit down because we're going to wait for this to okay. pop up all right i'm interested and, to see um, while we yeah. wait you want to talk about the buck okay moon? Buck moon. Yeah. Oh, it's already here's, there. here's the picture you see your arm can you zoom in on that oh you can see the i can see your face different colors it's uh, orange and this is infrared and yeah. okay. your body heat is radiating through the bag Oh, that's cool. Well, that's what stars do. They radiate through gas and dust in deep space. Okay, that's And those awesome. places that you're talking about Hubble, the places that Hubble looked at, where it saw dust and gas and all that sort of thing, but a few stars. This telescope can see through all of that and see the stars behind it. That's amazing. Oh, wow. It is. Yeah, there's so much more to it. It's going to look at exoplanets and planets in our own solar system. And it's just, there's no end to what this thing can do. Yeah, we're almost out of time, but we do want to talk about the this buck opportunity moon. to see the buck moon. Yeah, yeah that was Wednesday, by okay. the way. But so no more, no more moon. No, well, done. no, we have a moon tonight. It rises at 11 o'clock. But it's not as but cool it won't be as the buck moon. It won't be full, but the, just so you know what the buck moon means, is that the Farmer's Almanac has a nickname for a moon every month, right? September, we all know, is the harvest moon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the July moon is called the buck moon. I think this comes from American Indian folklore, but that deer, male deer, bucks, that have right. the antlers, shed their antlers every year. And their new antlers are in full bloom right now, if you want to say it that way. Uh, they're as big as they're going to get for the year. And okay. so it's called the buck moon because this is the time of year that that happens. Hmm. They shed their old ones and Wednesday. bring out some new ones. All right, go. Paul. Great, great demonstration. Thanks so much for coming. Tonight on. is public night at UT. Okay. So if you want to look through a telescope, great. come to the roof of the physics building at 10 o'clock. We'll be there. We'll talk about James Webb and the Buck Moon and whatever awesome. else anybody wants to talk about. All right, great.